Hello everyone. This is Ashwin here. In this video we are going to see about how to extract features from an image. So usually uh, when you are uh, dealing with extraction of uh, features, you may have to uh, include like specifically what are the features to extract. So that is like a traditional uh, feature extraction. But here I am going to use a pre-trained model in order to extract an uh, image using like a conventional neural network. So usually when you are uh, building a, a neural network or a CNN model, it will automatically extract the features for you and train your model. But sometimes you don't want to uh, train the whole thing and uh, that will take a lot of uh, computation power. You just want to store the features and uh, uh, reuse it uh, in a quicker manner. So in that scenario, it will be very helpful to extract features from an image. So I already done this in a separate video called uh, image caption generator. So you can click on the right top corner to see that uh, video in order to check the same workflow and how it is used. Now let's dive into the problem. So first I'll just iterate a directory which contains the image. So I'll just import few models before that. First I need OS and uh, import tensorflow dot keras dot applications applications dot vgg 16 so i am gonna use uh, this model apart from that you can also use uh, resnet or uh, exceptionnet whatever models that are available so it depends on the scenario uh, how you are uh, treating with so import vgg16 and uh, preprocess input pre process input so this is for uh, preprocessing the input image for this uh, vgg16 and apart from that we also need to import a uh, few modules so this is like from and again tensorflow tensorflow dot keras dot preprocessing okay preprocessing dot image import load image and uh, image to array so this is for loading the uh, image from the directory and also uh, converting the image to an array so these are like necessary modules uh, you need to use okay the import has been done now let's iterate through the directory to check the images so for image path in os dot list directory of image data so this is the folder that contains uh, all the images i just have like four images i'll just print the uh, path here you can change this as image now here image path equals this image data slash plus image and this should uh, display the complete path run this so this is the path of the image you can also change it to uh, whatever uh, images uh, you have apart from this you can also use data frames to load the image paths so using this image path, we are going to process it uh, further. So I'll just come on this for now. And I'll also show the images. So these are the images uh, I'm having. This is just like a Prince of Persia uh, game images. So it's not like a big deal. You can use any image you want. Now we have to uh, load the model so load the model so model equals vgg16 of and uh, so this will load the model with the uh, pre-trained weights and after that i'll just display the summary for now so model dot summary i think i have to print this so print model dot summary run this okay uh, if you are loading it for the first time means uh, it will try to download the model from the internet so this is the link it is uh, downloading the weights as you can able to see clearly 
so it will load the entire uh, model and if you reload the model again means it will uh, use the cache and uh, instantly load the model so this could take around like uh, two minutes and in the meantime i will also add one more line so this model will contain the whole model like including the prediction layer but here we are not going to predict anything we just need to extract the features from the image so what we are going to do is we are going to remove the last layer that is the prediction layer and keep everything else so i'll just say restructure the model restructure the model so in the summary you will get to know like what are the layers are uh, available in the model and after that uh, we can uh, run this code again to see how it is changed so i'm going to change the existing model and for this we have to import another uh, module so from tensorflow dot keras dot models import model so this is that uh, model function and here model of inputs equals model dot inputs so this will uh, accept whatever the inputs it has and in the outputs we are going to change a thing so outputs equals model dot layers of minus 2 dot output so why i am using minus 2 means i am choosing the layer just before the prediction layer so prediction is the last layer so that will be like minus 1 and i am choosing the previous layer so that will be minus 2 and from that layer i am just taking the output so this will be the new model structure it will take the input as it is and it will just output the fully connected layer so that's how the model uh, structures uh, let's see i think it should be uh, loaded by now okay so this is the entire uh, vgg uh, 16 model as you can able to see uh, there are many uh, convolutional uh, layers and uh, in the last few layers you can see uh, the fully connected layer and the prediction layer so this is like a complete module so it has like thousand classes but we don't need this prediction layers so we are going to take until the fully connected layer so the size of the output will be getting is 4096 now we have added this line now let's rerun this again so it will just uh, use the cache see the model instantly loaded and we removed the prediction layer so it contains a fully connected layer with the extracted features from the image so this is the kind of so this is the image size we'll be passing so we can format it in a way uh, using this pre-process input so those things are done here i will just resume this so i'm gonna store the features in a dictionary so features a dictionary and you can specify the directory name here for better convenience i'm just uh, storing it in a variable directory equals this image data and i can place the directory here let me just check it okay i didn't place the directory inside this okay now we have all the necessary flow now let's load the image from the directory so load the image for that i'm gonna use image or img equals load image of image path so this will load the image from the path so this is the whole path of this image and the next cell and in the next step we are going to convert the image pixels to an array so convert pixels to numpy array so here i am going to use that image to array image equals img to array of the image 
so this is just so this is just the initial steps and after this we have to reshape the image for the model reshape the image for the model this is a better practice so here you can able to see it has uh, 224 cross 224 and it has like rgb channel so it has like three channels now here image equals image dot reshape of and again one comma image dot shape of zero and image dot shape of one image dot shape of two so i'm just taking whatever the dimensions it has so this can be like uh, any number of dimension it can be 1080 or 1080 this this will be like uh, three channels because it is like a uh, rgb channels and uh, why i'm adding this one is because on each time we are just processing only one image so this is like a number of uh, uh, samples so for the model to predict we have to reshape it in this way uh, so it will accept that input so after this we will pre-process the image pre-process the image so that will be image equals pre-process input of okay I just think everywhere I just used the uh, image itself okay now after pre-processing we will get the features so extract features here feature equals model dot predict of image verbose equals zero because during prediction it will try to uh, load it like the loading screen will be appearing that's why i'm just uh, uh, removing that loading screen using verbose equals zero so it won't show me anything and uh, finally i will just uh, store the feature store feature features of you can store it by uh, the image or image path i'm gonna use the image path here so image path feature let's run this i think in the pre-process uh, step uh, it's not uh, reshaping so i think we have to manually uh, reshape it so before that i think in the load image itself we can uh, uh, set the size of the image so here I will set the target size target size equals 224 224 let's run this once okay now uh, as you can able to see I didn't show me any errors now let's uh, see the features so i'll just uh, show you what the feature look like so this is the features uh, look like so there are like so many uh, values i will just show you the shape so there are there are like 4096 uh, values in this uh, particular array so maybe if i can able to show you the whole thing to list I think here you can able to see some of the values are uh, having some uh, uh, numbers and most of the values are uh, zero it depends on the feature extraction technique you are using if you want to uh, load it from the uh, dictionary so features of just uh, type the whole path so image data slash one dot jpg that will display the features so currently it's truncated but it does contain all the features so if you want to reload it again means you can just easily uh, use this dictionary so you can uh, store this dictionary using pickle store the dictionary using pickle so using that 
uh, you can able to reload the dictionary again from the disk and uh, use it for other projects as well. So this will be uh, easier and uh, it will take less computation if you want to reuse it. You can just directly use some uh, fully connected layers and uh, uh, do the prediction. So that's pretty much it guys. So in this video we have just seen for uh, VGG16. So you can also use uh, other mo models if you want like ResNet or uh, any other net and uh, use the same flow as it is in order to extract uh, features from the image. If you have any queries on this uh, video, please leave a comment below. Apart from that, see you guys in the next video.